As evident on the radiograph, the gold crown on tooth number 18 has decay at the mesial interproximal margin. The crown will be replaced. The rubber dam is an excellent tool for removing old crowns. Quick and easy to place. You are only isolating one tooth. There is no need to floss the contacts. Clamp it and go. As you can see, it is easy to visualize your buccal to lingual slice. Garmer setup. The lingual tine of the cotton roll holder is pushed through the saliva ejector near the tip. The tail of the saliva ejector is bent to pass over the opposite bicuspid. The buccal spear is protected by a glob of resin. It can be removed to place a cotton roll if desired. Should you need to replace the glob, use flowable composite. Garmers in place. Neodry absorptive pads have been placed buccal and lingual. Note how the pads triangulate distal of the prep. Crown buildup is completely isolated. Tongue and cheek out of the way. Saliva ejector busy collecting saliva. Close-up view of the isolation. Core buildup bonded into prep. Crown prep ready for impression. Excellent isolation provided by the threesome combination of the saliva ejector, the neodries, and the greater curve matrix. Triple tray impression. Patient closes down on the triple tray as the armors is removed. Neodries are left in the mouth while the impression sets up. Impression number 18. Temporary crown on tooth number 18. Utility wax secures Emax crown to a wooden stick. Makes for easy delivery. The Garmers saliva ejector setup now provides excellent isolation for bonding the Emax crown. Emax crown bonded. The large tongue and plump cheek had to be restrained throughout the procedure. The Garmer saliva ejector set up in combination with the neodries made this possible. It worked well for this difficult case. Imagine how well it will work on routine cases. Set up for isolating upper molars. The tip of the saliva ejector is elongated further on the Garmer's lingual holding tine and bent toward the distal of the upper molar. The Garmer's secures the tongue while the saliva ejector and the buccal neodry keeps the field free of moisture throughout the restorative procedure. This is a close-up view of the saliva ejector tip extending behind the molars and removing the tongue from the operative field. Kids do well with the pediatric armors. Note the excellent isolation for placing sealants. pediatric setup for upper restorations. The operative field well isolated. The blocking of the tongue by the saliva ejector contains the tongue into the bottom of the mouth. Close-up view of the same operative site. In summary, the Garmer's saliva ejector setup holds the tongue at bay easier on both you and the assistant. An extra precaution to prevent the tongue from jumping into the operative field. The patient has freedom to move their jaw. Patient not locked open by a bite block. And finally, 
The Garmers provides access to the operative field.